once again, after the market had had a very hard sell-off in the morning, especially on a Monday, it came back up and closed relatively flat, still trading above the T-line. Now the fear factor that is coming into the market is whether we're going to be ready for a big sell-off here pretty soon. But that's only because of human nature. Human nature says if we have a big uptrend, we should have a big sell-off. That type of uh, uh, emotional uh, projecting keeps investors from being fully invested, invested in the areas where they should be. Currently, the market is telling us that it is not moving anywhere one way or the other. Continue to stay long as long as we don't see a candlestick sell signal and a close below the T-line. The NASDAQ is also providing pro additional evidence that the T-line is acting in support. Today it opened right on the T-line, traded down, but came right back up and stayed above it. Just one simple truism, as long as you don't see a candlestick sell signal and a close below the T-line, you still have to consider that we're in an uptrend. And to try to project what's going to happen from here doesn't mean a hill of beans. Let the market tell you what the market is doing. Today we recommended PAY if it traded positive, which it did, because it's doing a nice little fry pan bottom breakout to the upside. This will have good chance of performing, especially the next wave, the same magnitude as this wave right here, provided we don't see any drastic change of investor sentiment. Uh, this allows for the patterns to break out and in the manner that they're expected meaning if this is wave one, wave three will be the equivalent, being able to see what the uh, wave setup is, uh, is doing before the breakout occurs. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.